hey thank you so much for clicking my video and in today's video these wigs are brought to you by hair Self fly shop i'll leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store the brand of the wig that i have today is sensational i have a new wig from their butter lace collection the style that i have is butter unit one and i have this wig in one style six different colors According to the stock card, this wig comes with HD undetectable lace. It blends in with the most skin tones. It comes with ear-to-ear -ear lace with a 5-inch hand tied deep parting. The hairline is pre-plucked with baby hairs, and the hairline density is supposed to be very natural. The wig comes curling iron safe up to 400 degrees, and the color that's being shown on the model is color 1. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. They all come this way. The parting is on the right side. You get two combs in the front and another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. The cap material is a stretch fit material and it's also like a mesh net so that's good so your hair could breathe. The lace on this comes pretty gray on my skin but y'all already know I'm going to try my best to blend it. The texture on this one is a light yakky texture. Right now I am showing you guys the color too and I'm just going in and pressing down the hairline so I could get the hairline to show a little bit more and I'm also going to go in and press down the parting space. I am doing this to all six wigs just to get it nice and flat and I don't really like the bang kind of laying in my face. I want it like out of my face so this just helps. If you don't know how to cut your lace just cut the lace right along the hairline. Take your time and try not to cut into the hairline. To blend my lace, I like to use Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 355 and NARS Foundation. First, to help tint the lace, I'm going to go in with the powder. This just helps it not come off so gray. Then after that, I take a small pump of foundation. This is what I use to contour my cheekbones sometimes. And just lightly dab it all over the lace. Not too much because if you put too much, then your lace is going to come off very cakey and look very dry. I really would like to install these wigs glueless and to help do that I'm going to use elastic band. So to help keep the elastic band from unraveling I like to burn the ends. This just makes it nice and hard and not so stretchy so it kind of keeps it in place. And then I just go in and stitch it right there by the ear tabs. If it's your first time adding elastic band to your wig, don't stitch it so tight just in case you have to go in and adjust it or remove the placement of it. This color is Money Peas Caramel. This is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. And like I said, the same thing I did to the color too, the same thing I'm doing to all of the wigs. This wig color is Money Peas Wine. The way this wig came straight out of the box, it was very bumpy and ugh, it wasn't so straight and full as the other ones. So I'm just going in and pressing down the hairline and also the parting space. And after that, I'm going to go in with my flat iron and just try my best to bump the ends. The temperature setting that I have it on is 300 degrees. The next color is Money Piece Gold, which was not too bad straight out of the box. This one is Money Piece Blonde. Very nice, very nice. It comes three tones. And last but not least, T4 slash Ash Blonde. Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well. So today I have one wig in five different, no, six different colors for you guys today and i'm so excited so this is just gonna be a wig show and tell i'm gonna let you know my thoughts on the wigs as well so i hope you like them first up is the color two already went ahead tinted the lace if i did not mention before the parting on each wig is on the right side 
One great thing is the partings comes pre-plucked, so you don't have to go in and pluck it. So that's great. And let's do this, baby. For show and tell purposes, I'm just going to go in and style a little baby hair on my right side temple. If you want and you do decide to get the wig, you could go in and style the whole hairline of baby hairs the way you would like. This is just what I'm doing. And boom, you can never go wrong with a natural color, boo. This wig is cute. And the texture is a light yucky texture. My height is 5'6". I would say the length of this wig on me is about 10 inches. I did not get any tangling. Shedding was very low. There is a shine on the wig, but to me, the wig ain't too shiny. But if you don't like the shine, you can always go down and dim it down with dry shampoo. And the density to me is on the low side, but it fits the wig. And I like how the lace blends with my skin. All right, you guys, so up next is the Money Piece Caramel Color. Here it is. One thing I could say about this color is the texture is more silky than the color two. This one has like a light yucky texture in it, but this one just a little bit more silky, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swap wigs. So this is the end result of the Money Piece Caramel color, and it's really nice. It actually reminded me of Rogue from X-Men, how she got that little highlight in the front. To me, this color is very shiny, so if I was you, now that I'm watching this video over, I will go in and dim it down with dry shampoo. As for the density, it is low on this wig, but it fits the wig. The cut is not bad at all, too. And let me not forget to mention the cap on these wigs does stretch. So if you have a big head, I think you're in for the clear, but definitely check out other reviews. And the lace on this one is looking good as well. Okay, so next color up is Money Piece Wine. Here is the wig. Oh, it's coming off a little shiny already. This one is a silky texture too. Very silky. So... Let's see, and I'm gonna swap wigs. All right, you guys, so this color isn't... I love the red because the red have like these little tones of purple, then burgundy in it. Like it's not a horrible wig. It's not, but it's not my type of wig. The top is just way too black. It's coming off shiny because of my ring light. So sorry about that, but I am mostly in natural sunlight. I like how the parting looks. The parting is a very wide and deep. The wig is laying pretty flat. The other issue I have with the wig is the little beards right here. I don't know if you guys could see it. It's not too bad, but it just looks, makes it look a little frizzy. But everybody wigs come different, so if you are interested in this color, hopefully yours don't come with all these beards, hopefully come properly layered. But this is the other color, y'all. So let me turn around for you guys. The Money Piece wine color, I think Sensation needs to go back to the drawing board. The cut on this ain't really all that. They need to do better with the bump. Um, the density is not as full as the other one. This density is actually the lowest one out of all the colors. Like, ugh, I would go in and cut it myself, but I'm already not feeling it, so it's okay. The shedding on this was low as well, and eh, I don't like it. Next. 
<laughs> Alright, you guys, so up next is the Money Piece Gold color. Here it is. Okay, this one is way fuller than this color. This color is a little bit more on the thin side, but this is more on the medium side. This one, I was feeling it at first. I was really, really liking the color. I like how the ombre fades into it. There's no harsh line of demarcation, but that cut, love that cut. The cut ain't too bad. All I have to do is go in and like, you know, straighten it on my mannequin head. But for the beginners that's out there that's lazy, I already know how y'all feeling. No, you just want to come perfect. So hopefully, if you do get this one, it comes better than mine's. Definitely check out other reviews on it, though. As for the density on this one, the density is more on the medium side compared to the other ones. And the texture is silky. All right, y'all. So the next color is Money Piece Blonde. And here is the wig. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Okay, three tones. All right. Okay, and that's what I'm talking about, getting formation. I like how I just brushed it and everything just laid. And I love the cut on this one compared to this, the other ones, and the density. It's not too thick, not too thin. I love how it moves when I move. They all move when I move, but it's just something about this one that's different. The color... Hmm... The color. I'm 50 50 about it on me. I don't. I don't really think I like this wig on me, but the wig is fire. I'm just not sure if I'm feeling the color on me. So far, I must say the cut on this one and the color too is really nice and the density. They're both very full, beginner friendly. There's no frizzies everywhere. The color is just smooth like butter. Like it looks nice, really nice. I also like how the blonde fades into the brown. Like there's a few streaks of the blonde into the brown. They did a really nice job. So the texture on this hair is more on the silky side. The density is low to medium. The wig does have a stretch cap fit material if you have a small head just tie the adjustable straps or crisscross the adjustable straps and or you could be like me i inserted my own elastic band so it just made it more secure okay the last one t4 slash ash blonde i was like okay a gray wig i really like gray wigs so Brushing this, I did not get any tangling. Shedding was very low on this wig. The lace is actually blending in with my skin. Very nice, very nice. I'm going in, I'm just adding a little temple baby hair so it can make the wig pop a little bit. The density on this color is way fuller than the other colors. Like this is the fullest one. And I like this one, it's not too bad. Simple, cute. A pop of color, not too bright, not too dark. Hmm. The cut is not too bad as well. It is some spots that need to go in and be a little trimmed up, but it's okay. It's okay. It can rock. It can rock. But get it together, sensational, because people is paying their money and they want the cut to come correct. You feel me? The lace on this is not too bad either, and I'm feeling it. I'm here and there with it. So let me know your thoughts on these wigs. Which color are you feeling more? Are you going to try the line? I like the wig, but Sensation needs to do better with the cut, the fraziness, and the density. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.